Hello, my name is Jen Alexander. I'm an educator, school counselor, and play therapist in Iowa with over 15 years experience in the field. I'm also the lead trainer for the Attachment and Trauma Network's Trauma Sensitive Schools Task Force. I'm delighted to be helping kick off ATN's upcoming Educating Traumatized Children Summit, which will be held May 1st through May 5th, 2017. Please join us for daily interviews with top experts in the field of childhood trauma. You can listen for free each day. You can also purchase recordings and transcripts if you would like. Today, I would like to give you a little snippet of my interview for the summit, which will focus on the why of creating trauma-sensitive schools. Why are they important? And why must we help each and every educator better understand the needs of traumatized youth? For me, the why comes in this answer. Creating trauma-sensitive schools cultivates hope for students, for educators, and for our community. We know that at least one in four youth experience significant enough trauma that it impacts their functioning at school. This is because trauma changes the way the brain and body work. It changes the physiology of what's happening in kids. This affects children's emotions, sometimes causing them to feel too much, sometimes not enough. It impacts youth's behavior. It can impact how children and teens learn as well. We also know that childhood trauma changes relationships for kids. It impacts their self-concept and it impacts families too. By better understanding the needs of traumatized children and teens, we can help educators make a difference with these kids. That's our goal, right? We want to help all students learn at high levels. Understanding the needs of traumatized youth is an important part of this mission. Creating trauma-sensitive schools isn't just about creating hope for youth, though. It's also about cultivating hope in educators. Every day, the best of the best educators across the nation are pouring their hearts out for traumatized kids, but they may not know that childhood trauma is the root of the concerns that they may see in the classroom. By helping educators better understand this, our teachers, administrators, paraprofessionals, and support staff can rekindle the hope that brought them into this profession in the first place. They can realize how to make a difference with these kids and believe in their ability to do so. This helps prevent burnout and will help make our educators the best they can be. It will bring joy back into their lives as well. Let's do this together. Let's create trauma-sensitive schools and let's start by participating in ATN's upcoming Educating Traumatized Children Summit. Visit www.creatingtraumasensitiveschools.org to register. You can also go to that website to purchase recordings and transcripts both before and after the event. I very much look forward to having you join us. Let's create trauma-sensitive schools together. Join the movement today. Thank you.